All right, here we are. Tremendous Thursday. Um, great, uh, great sunny afternoon. And I am so excited this afternoon to be speaking to Michaela Donato. And she is the owner of Donato Decor. And I'm excited to have a conversation with her about her and her business and um, uh, the psychology of color and conscious decor and a little bit about my story of working with uh, Michaela on some uh, a project that she has done for me for my home office. And um, yeah, some, some new things that are starting to happen for me in, in terms of my space. So welcome, Michaela. Great to have you here today. Thank you so How much. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm excited to be here. Thanks for having me. Excellent, excellent. Well, I'm definitely, I'm always in my happy space when I'm in this office and I'm, I'm chatting with people or creating content or masterminding, whatever it is. So, um, you know, I wanted to start with the fact that you helped me with this space uh, and really making sure that everything that I wanted, that I visualized, uh, came to life in, in this space. Because I think I posted this on, um, on uh, somewhere recently. I said, you know, I can't, in the morning, I, I, I'm so excited to get up, to come into this space and work every day. And, you know, be able to look outside the window and see nature and see the wildlife and everything else. So, yeah, it's yes. just, it's so important just to um, our day to day kind of life and, and success and all the activities that we do. Like, it's just so important to be happy and content in that space and, and really just set ourselves up for um, for success um, in the day ahead. So I think I, I'm glad to hear that it's working for you. And. Um, yeah, I think we all kind of need to invest in that um, for ourselves as well. Yeah, for sure, for sure. So yeah, so, so tell us a little bit more about you and your business. Yeah, so um, yeah, I, uh, Donato Decor is a, a full service residential um, and commercial interior um, design business. So my mission is to um, create spaces that, that promote um, the success of, of the end user. And um, I do this by designing um, for their specific kind of um, purpose and function and um, just with, um, the intention that um, kind of of the end use. So I kind of collaborate with the client, obviously, to kind of establish exactly how they want to use it and how um, they plan to kind of show up in that space um, daily or however often it may be. And really just, um, yeah, designing designing with that specific and individual purpose. Um, and like you kind of said, I started on um, this path studying the psychology of decor and it's linked to our um, happiness and kind of overall satisfaction. Um, and I just learned through that research how powerful of a tool it can be in um, what we can achieve and kind of what we do in a day and how we feel when we're doing it. Um, and so my, my kind of tagline is, um, happy, um, happier, prettier, and um, intentional design. So all of those things are kind of embodied in what I do. And uh, yeah, that's kind of <laughs> the short version. Awesome. Awesome. So I always like to hear people's stories. So so what was it that made you decide to get into this, this type of business for yourself? Yeah. So kind of an interesting um, roundabout route. I started out... Um, my schooling in fashion. So I, that was kind of what I wanted to do ever since I can, I can remember. And so kind of in the midst of those studies, um, and actually before my, my dad was injured and paralyzed in um, an accident. And when I was kind of away at school, I, and I would come home, I would notice different I would notice different moods that we would be kind of experiencing as a family and, and him as an individual, um, depending on the space that we were in. So obviously uh, with that accident came a lot of kind of adjusting and modifications to the living environment and kind of how he lived on a, on a daily basis. 
And I noticed that depending on how accessible the space was to him and even like stuff as small as kind of the lighting, like I started to kind of see the difference that those things would make. So I really tried to tune into that and, um, and take note of, of how I felt in different spaces, how he reacted in different spaces and, um, and just, it just kind of became of interest to me and, and I really um, decided to dive deeper. So I decided to pursue that research um, in school. So I took a little bit of a, of a turn and um, through that research, I kind of became more passionate about the topic and I ended up um, designing as my kind of final project, a collection of, of home goods that were aimed to increase the um, positivity in, in a person's space. So um, the collection that I designed and produced was um, a handful of, of items that could be placed in um, a bedroom, a living room, an office, um, wherever you kind of wanted to, to boost that, that positivity. Um, and yeah, I kind of, I kind of never turned back from there. So <laughs> interesting kind of path, but uh, I'm, I'm so glad to be where I am now. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Uh, you know, and that's such, such an interesting story. And I find oftentimes it's when those, you know, I call them disruptions or challenges or things that show up in our lives that, um, you know, we, we weren't expecting, we weren't, hoping for, planning for, but they can really act as a catalyst that can kind of get us on a new path. And it sounds like in your case, it, it's actually got you on a path that you absolutely, you absolutely love, you know, the work that you're doing and, and how it's helping people. Yeah. yeah. I'm Amazing. sure it's funny how uh, all those little things you look back and, and they have more meaning kind of in retrospect, but in the time kind of, you don't, you don't notice the effect that it may have on you. So yeah 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 awesome okay so i know you also you so you talk about the psychology of color and you also talk about the conscious way the conscious way of uh you know designing our space mm -hmm. so tell us a little bit more about that what, what does that mean what does that look like so i'll touch on the the kind of psychology of color for a second first and um the in general, what I what I learned and what I discovered in that area was that um, there's there's different colors that we would want to kind of surround ourselves in for different um, purposes. So there's um, energizing colors and kind of common colors, which I'm sure on some level we all can kind of understand. Like we, um, I think probably subconsciously a lot of us are implementing that that anyways. Um, so that is a piece that I kind of touch on and, and, and um, work with when I'm designing. But the core of everything is that, um, and the conscious part of it is that we really have to be in tune with what works for us and what we need. Because I can kind of list off all of the um, like facts and, and kind of general um, research, but it really, really is important to make it personal to you. So a color that feels energizing to me may not have the same effect on someone else, regardless of, of kind of the mass research. So the conscious part of, of what I do and, and kind of what I encourage with people's spaces is, is really just being in tune um, with how you feel and what you, what you're intention is in that space. So um, just really thinking and, and having a clear vision on, on what you, what you want. And, um, and really, again, just being in tune with, with your own personal kind of reactions to those things. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So really listening to yourself, and then kind of creating the environment around that. Exactly. Yeah. And, and being yeah. conscious of, of how you use the space, like um, for an office space, like, okay, it's, yeah, we use it for, for work 
but but what do we what do we do like what do we how do we start the day what do how does our team meeting in the morning look how does our lunch time look like how are we really using the space and um how can we kind of maximize all of those functions because there's really no space that is for one and like one thing only like um especially especially our workspaces so to really just yeah have a clear idea of of how you use that space and what you need it to do for you in each of those different circumstances is super important mm, okay okay so so that brings me to um a lot of the people, the clients that I work with are uh, family owned businesses. Mm -hmm. So, you know, and, and that can be challenging at times because you can have, you know, whether it's just a couple people or more people that, you know, they, you know, we're, we're, you're creating a space where everyone feels like, you know, they, it's going to work for them and, you know, both individually and within the context of the business itself mm -hmm. so uh, yeah any insights uh, that you can share that can kind of help like because I know you know I talk to different family business owners and a lot of the times it'll be like you know the husband and wife and I've experienced this myself where mm -hmm. it's like okay we cannot be in the same space like basically on top of each other because um and it's hard it's hard because of covid right where we're kind of you know we're all being very compressed uh but there's still that you know what maybe one person's very um my husband always says he's got a very booming voice and he does his voice when he's on the phone and he's talking to clients like his voice projects and I'll be doing my thing that I can still kind of hear, you know, what he's doing. So, you know, we're, and we're still navigating this. So we're still kind of sorting out, you know, how to, how to make our, our spaces work. So, um, yeah. So, so what would you say to, you know, family businesses that are kind of like trying to figure this stuff out still? Yeah. I mean, it's, it really is ongoing. And, and I think a big part of it is, is being flexible and kind of, again, being conscious of what's working, what isn't, what needs to be adjusted, um, what you love about your current situation. <clears throat> and um, yeah, the first kind of major thing that comes to mind as far as how we can kind of make our, our workspaces um, work better for us is to have, um, especially working from home, but, but even in, in kind of corporate office spaces is having um, distinct places for work and play. So in a work setting, play would be like lunchtime or, or something like that. Um, and having distinct spaces for different roles um, that people are playing every day. So if someone's on the phone a lot, that there kind of needs to be a little bit of that separation so that um, there's not so much of that claustrophobic feeling like you can't kind of get your stuff accomplished because there's so much else going on. So really distinguishing between um, those different roles and who kind of needs what space. And um, again, back to the kind of work versus play thing, just when we're working from home, we need um, a space kind of at the end of the day where we can reset and we can feel like we um, just finished our commute home, <laughs> which is maybe what we would have been doing before. Um, so this space would be calm and, and kind of peaceful, whereas um, your distinct workspace within your home um, should be more energizing and um, kind of motivational. So just having those, um, and it could be something as small as um, like the bulb in your lamp, like it could, like it doesn't have to be um, because I know we're kind of all makeshift offices at home and there could be different situations as far as kind of what we have available to us um, to work with, but just anything we can kind of use to, to determine what space is for what. Um, and specifically to family um, businesses, I feel as though your workspace needs to feel different than like a family barbecue would. So it just, it really has to, you have to kind of discover what 
what is going to be that defining feature for each different space um, and what's going to work for you and your office and, and uh, your team. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Yes, very good. All right. Um, any, where can people go to find you if they want to learn more about you and what you offer and how you can help them? Yeah, so I'm on Facebook and Instagram, um, and my um, name on both is Donato Decor, so um, no spaces. And um, my website is donatodecor.com, where you can find kind of more information, and um, my phone number and email address are both on the website. Um, and yeah, that, those are kind of the main places. <laughs> Because, yeah, and I have to say, your newsletter, it's, it's always so lovely to get this yeah. nice, because you've always got like color palette in there or something interesting that, and as soon as I read it, it's like, ah, oh, you know, you just feel like it comes through, <laughs> it comes through your newsletter, like that yeah. whole feeling of like, okay, calm and my space is good. And even if, though I might have, you know, today is kind of a messy day, you can't really see it, but it is a little, you know, um, I've got lots of projects on the go right now. So, but, you know, getting that newsletter in my inbox is always a nice little break uh, in my day to, to read that. So, yeah, I would well, definitely I would encourage people. Check out I was list. just going to say, um, if for anyone who um, does sign up for my newsletter um, in the next week or so, I will send um, my functionality guide for for <clears throat> your home and um, your um, office space and how to kind of increase productivity when you're working from home and um, really how to distinguish those spaces. So, um, yeah, I can send that along to anyone that's that's interested and uh, you can sign up for that um, email list on my website as well. Fabulous, fabulous. So yeah, so I will also post your website in, uh, in the chat here. And uh, yeah, otherwise, you know, thanks conversation and stay tuned. So the next thing we're gonna, I'm working on is my she shed at my at my cottage so hopefully if all goes well we get that project uh delivered on site this month and then i'll be reaching out to you yes i, I wish we were reaching out to uh to the company this morning and making sure everything's you know on schedule and it's looking good oh, so good. that being the case yeah it'll be that'll be where i'll be working for starting in june for the next uh next few months Amazing. so super excited about well that. i will yeah help. yeah <laughs> yes yes awesome all right thanks so much michaela thank you take care <laughs>